Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture today. Now I would like to discuss about one of the important nerve which is called as vestibulocochlear nerve also called as 8th nerve, 8th cranial nerve. Okay, so we will learn about the course of this vestibulocochlear nerve. So if you see the vestibulocochlear nerve, it has two components. One is the vestibular part which arises from the vestibular nuclei whereas the second part is called has cochlear part and this cochlear part it arises from cochlear nuclei okay it is of two parts one is vestibular part and cochlear part if you see the vestibular part it is concerned with equilibrium Whereas the cochlear part, it is concerned with hearing. Okay, now, so before going into the course, proper course of the vestibular or cochlear, vestibular cochlear nerve, I would like to discuss about the functional component of this vestibular cochlear nerve. So this vestibular cochlear nerve, it is a pure sensory nerve. Because this vestibular cochlear nerve, it is a pure sensory nerve. It has components which is special. Uh, somatic afferents instead of saying somatic it is special afferents these are special senses okay special afferents because they will carry the sensations okay these are special afferents they carry sensory information from maintaining equilibrium and also hearing so mainly they carry the sensations to two nuclei one is the brainstem in the medulla, mainly the nuclei are in the medulla. So they carry nuclei to vestibular nuclei and also cochlear nuclei. Okay, let me first draw the medulla so that it becomes easier. So this is the medulla. I'm just trying to draw a little smaller picture. Okay. Now, you will have vestibular nuclei. There are four groups of vestibular nuclei. And then there are two groups of cochlear nuclei. Okay, there are four groups of vestibular nuclei and two groups of cochlear nuclei. Let me just name them. These are vestibular nuclei. And these are cochlear nuclei, okay? These vestibular nuclei which are there, there are four types, right? I'm not going to uh, name there because it becomes so congestive. So there will be medial, lateral, superior, inferior, okay? So this is medial, this is lateral, this is superior, this is inferior, okay? These are anterior and posterior. So in the anterior and posterior, this is called as anterior and this is posterior. Okay, so these are the different nuclei which are seen. Now, this vestibular nerve, it arises from the pontomedullary junction that is lateral aspect okay so it arises from the so all these these will lead to first vestibular nerve vestibulocochlear nerve both these in fact this will arise from lateral aspect of Pontomedullary junction. Okay, lateral aspect of pontomedullary junction. And then, first we will learn about the vestibular nerve, and then we will learn about the cochlear nerve. Okay, both are a little different course. So, this is the vestibular nerve from all the four nuclei. Okay, this vestibular nerve it arises from the lateral aspect of the 
ಪಾಂಟೋ ಮೆಜಿಲರಿ ಜಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಾಸಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಪಾಂಟೋ ಸೆರಿಬೆಲ್ಲರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಪಾಸಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಪಾಂಟೋ ಟೆಲ್ ಸೆರಿಬೆಲ್ಲರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ರೀಚಸ್ ದ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಅಕಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಮಿಯಟಸ್ ಎಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಫೇಶಿಯಲ್ ನರ್ವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಬರಿಂಥೈನ್ ವೆಸಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ರೀಚ್ ದ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಅಕಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಮಿಯಟಸ್ ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ this is here internal acoustic meatus okay it reaches the internal acoustic meatus along with the facial nerve and also the labyrinthine gang vessels okay so now this internal acoustic meatus uh, it has reached the internal acoustic meatus then Uh, there is a ganglion in the lateral part of this meatus there is a vestibular ganglion which is there okay so this is the vestibular ganglion okay let me i'll draw it here okay because it becomes easier okay this is the vestibular ganglion okay and then in the vestibular ganglion if you see there are bipolar sensory neurons okay there are bipolar sensory neurons in the vestibular ganglion and now from the vestibular ganglion the nerve now divides into three branches one superior inferior divisions and also singular nerve three divisions superior division inferior division and singular nerve these branches passes through the foramen of the meatus and innervate the sensory receptors of equilibrium so let me just name the nerves one is superior nerve inferior and singular nerve divisions okay okay and all these will innervate crista ampullaris and macula crista ampullaris and macula okay so this is the vestibular about the vestibular nerve now cochlear nerve so i'll draw cochlear nerve in the next now in the next page okay i think you guys have understood the vestibular nerve just a minute so now let us now now learn about the cochlear nerve these are the cochlear nuclei these are vestibular nuclei now the cochlear nuclei they will also uh, they will also arise from the lateral aspect of the ponto medullary junction and they will now enter the internal acoustic meatus just like the vestibular nerve so this is okay i'll write with a left um now it has reached the internal acoustic meatus okay now from the internal acoustic meatus it has reached the internal acoustic meatus now at the medial end of the internal acoustic meatus it will enter the bony labyrinth of the middle ear okay through tractus for spinous foraminus in the fundus of the meatus and now it will reach the mid internal ear now it has reached the internal ear okay let me just name it now it has entered the bony labyrinth right so think that this is the bony labyrinth okay now it has entered the bony labyrinth at medial end at medial end of internal acoustic meatus and this hole which is there in the medial end in this this hole it is called has tractus spiralis foraminosus one minute 
tractus spiralis foraminosus. That hole is called as tractus spiralis foraminosus. Okay. And then it has entered the internal ear. Now, in the internal ear, there is a spiral ganglion which is there. So, this spiral ganglion is also made up of bipolar neurons. Okay, even in the internal ear, there is a ganglion which is called as spiral ganglion. And now it supplies the internal ear for hearing. Okay, so this is the cochlea nerve, mainly in the cochlea. So, it supplies the cochlea. If I have to say the specified, now it will. Uh, supply cochlea okay so this is about the um, vestibular cochlear nerve in that cochlear nerve we have also we, now what happens see it, all these nuclei are in the brain now right in the medulla then how does they reach the auditory cortex because it is a sensory nuclei right sensory nerve so obviously you'll have to know how it reaches the uh, cochlea so for sorry how it reaches the cortex for that let me draw the diagram so from the uh, below okay this is the internal ear cochlea so this is the cochlear division okay it will be only two and a half it became more i guess it will be only two and a half turns not more than that i'll draw again then one two one one two uh, yeah it's like this okay one two and a half turns and it has a saccule here like this and then this is the utricles with semicircular canals okay i'm sorry the diagram did not come that well okay this is the utricle with semicircular canals now if you see you have two nerves as i have said one is vestibular nerve and is the cochlear nerve now this is the medulla because cerebellum uh, ponto cerebellar angle it starts i mean cerebellum ponte and angle it will close so this is the medulla in the medulla if you see you'll have nuclei right i have already said, said that they are present in the medulla from the medulla it reaches the midbrain okay from there they will reach the cerebral cortex okay now uh, there are two tracks one is uh, vestibular nerve has a different track whereas the cochlear division has a dif different task track so first i will uh, tell you about the vestibular tract on one side and then cochlear tract on the other side okay so first vestibular uh, so first cochlear tract so first in the cochlear tract if you see the cochlear division is from the cochlear cochlea will get cochlear nerve this is the cochlear nerve it will enter the internal acoustic meatus okay this is the internal acoustic meatus so from the inter it will enter the internal acoustic meatus and from there it will enter the medulla in the medulla it has two nuclei anterior and posterior co cochlear nuclei okay from the anterior and posterior cochlear nuclei it will reach two more nuclei which are called as superior olivary nucleus so this is one superior olivary nucleus this is the second superior olivary nucleus so these are superior olivary nucleus okay this is the cochlear nucleus cochlear nerve it reaches the cochlear nucleus from there it reaches the superior olivary nucleus okay from the superior olivary nucleus they will end in uh, they will cross on both the sides and they will even go both contralaterally and ipsilaterally and they will reach inferior colliculus okay so from the inferior colliculus it reaches the thalamus here there will be thalamus here right uh, on the thalamus just there will be a body which is called as medial geniculate body which is present near the thalamus right it reaches the medial geniculate body 
so from the medial geniculate body it will now reach the auditory cortex okay auditory cortex so this is about the cochlear nerve okay the cochlear nerve from the cochlear inner ear it reaches the cochlear nucleus from there superior olivary nucleus then inferior olivary nucleus and then medial geniculate body and finally auditory cortex okay so this is how the cochlear nerve travels now what about the vestibular nerve i'll draw it in the next uh, next page one minute now uh, for the vestibular cochlear nerve again i'll draw the uh, so this was this is the cochlea two and half turns and it has reached like this and this is the saccul now these are the i'm sorry now these are the semicircular canals okay this is just a rough diagram in fact okay now uh, this is the medulla this is the midbrain now cerebellum not the cerebrum You'll have two things one you have cortex these also go to the cortex okay and these also go to the cerebellum cerebellum will be here okay so this is the cerebellum now the vestibular fibers are from the utricle and saccule these are the equilibrium apparatus these will maintain equilibrium so from here the just let me just increase the size okay so from here the nerves will come and then they will reach the vestibular nuclei there are four vestibular nuclei anterior posterior medial and sorry superior inferior medial and lateral okay so from the vestibular nuclei it has two major things one it can go into the cerebellum okay or so from the vestibular nuclei it can also go into the midbrain and this will collect connect with the medial longitudinal fasciculus which contains the nerve fibers of third fourth and sixth nerves that is one thing and this can also go and reach the cortex okay so this is vestibular pathway where there is connections to the cerebellum this is called has vestibulo cerebellar tract okay it also has a connection with the uh, medial longitudinal fasciculus So with the help of this medial longitudinal fasciculus, it gives branches to third, fourth, and sixth nerves. Then it also supplies the cortex. Okay, so this is the tract of vestibular system. Vestibular nerve. Okay, that is the efferent nerve. Okay. So this is about the vestibular nerve. So thank you guys for watching my lecture. If you have any doubt, please comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching my lecture. Thank you.